Hi, this is Mark Birch. The following close analysis of an inspector calls is designed to help you achieve top grades and is based on my study guide, 25 Key Quotations and Inspector Calls. Here I'm going to be taking a look at Arthur Burling's description of the Titanic as unsinkable, absolutely unsinkable. The reference to the Titanic sailing next week allows Priestley to set the play at a specific identifiable time, making it all the more realistic. This realism makes the play's moral message all the more profound and its narrative twist all the more shocking. The unsinkable Titanic sank on its maiden voyage in 1912, just a week after the setting of the play, killing over 1,500 people. The ship was regarded as an important symbol of capitalist accomplishment, technological advancement and luxury. The Titanic fostered great pride, as evidenced by Arthur Burling, who functions as Priestley's personification of capitalism. The sinking of the indestructible ship shocked the world, causing widespread outrage over the lack of lifeboats, lax regulations, and the unequal treatment of the free passenger classes during the evacuation. The sinking of the ship revealed the hubris of the industrialists who had constructed it. It was this hubris that many regarded as the cause for so much unnecessary loss of life. The anger felt towards these industrialists would have been applied to Burling, particularly by the play's early audiences, as he exhibited the same hubris and misplaced optimism. Burling's misplaced optimism is also symbolically doomed to sink under the interrogation of the inspector. It's the failure to question and the foolish arrogance seen in such examples of capitalism that Priestley wishes to expose. This is one of the clearest examples of dramatic irony in the play. Once again, the audience is invited to mock the attitudes expressed by Burling and what his character represents, capitalism. Priestley's use of epistrophe, coupled with the intensifying adverb, absolutely, reinforces Burling's certainty and, in the light of the dramatic irony, his misplaced arrogance. It may be significant that, proportionally, many more first-class passengers on the Titanic survived, Priestley's construction of Eva Smith as a working-class woman to highlight the conditions of many in British society mirrors the way in which the most vulnerable in Edwardian society suffered the most in the tragedy of the Titanic. Okay, ta.